Hello, hello. It is me, by the way. Featuring the chef and Mr. Boshi on the on the hills over there. Our hills have eyes, as you can see. But it's not a horror game or a horror story. Some people have requested, mostly stealthy, for me to do a tier list of all the Souls games that I've played. Or just just a Souls likes tier list. Is that's exactly what I'm gonna do. We're gonna start from the, the top. If I've never played the game, I'm gonna put it in this category that's down there. But of course, as any tier list, we have ranks from S. A, B, C, D, and F. F being the worst, S tier being the best. What do I think? I don't know. Let's start with Death's Gambit. Me personally, I've never played Death's Gambit. I don't know what that is. Some people may be like, oh, are you serious? Yeah, yeah, I'm serious, I don't know. Dark Souls 2, I never finish, but that's going in an F tier because that's the reason why I didn't finish. The Blight is just, nah, I'm good. Lords of the Fallen. I never played, but I heard good things about it. Sekiro, that's definitely, that's an S tier. Starts with an S too, so definitely S tier. The bosses, the style, no stamina, and of course, the Japanese background is really cool. Necropolis, never played it. Elden Ring, S, but that's gonna be top, top. This is gonna be no particular order, but I feel like Elden Ring has to be top, like first all the time for me personally, because that's my favorite game. Nothing beats Elden Ring, nothing. Hellpoint, I played it. It was a I I give it a C though. Let it die, I don't think I've played that. Mortal Shell, never played it, but I have the demo downloaded. Kronos, don't got it. Hollow Knight, that's a good A tier. I didn't know it was a Souls-like until recently. Someone told me it was, and then I was like, oh, wait, that's a Souls-like. Makes sense, though. Wasn't really difficult, but it was a fun game. Pretty cool story, too. Darksiders, you see, it wasn't bad. Three was bad. Two was good. I think one was the best. If we're talking about Darksiders 3, I'm gonna have to put it at a B. But the other Dark Darksiders altogether probably would have been an A. Dead Cells, that's a Souls-like? No, I'm thinking about Fury. Oh, I've never played Dead Cells. Let's see, Blasphemous. Ooh, yeah, I have the demo downloaded. Didn't play it, but I heard good things about it. Or about it. Neo A or S tier. Definitely. One and two. S tier. Well, hold on. Let me take Neo one down to A. It, l let me tell you why, though. Because playing Neo two, they took everything from one and just made it better. I like the story f for Neo one because William, that was a pretty cool, you know, a little, a little cool backstory. And it was based off a true story, I think. I did a little research on it and uh, a lot of the history is there and it's accurate for some things like with when it comes to locations and names and uh the wars and stuff but the yokai that's 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 not real so yeah anyways neo 2 was just a good game uh, i really like that game really cool story and i like being able to create my own character so i'm gonna put neo at s neo 2 at s neo 1 at a Remnant 1, there's no Remnant 2. I'm going to wrap this both into two categories, Remnant 1 and 2. Remnant 2 was a good game, and I like that Remnant is basically Dark Souls with guns. Was it fun? Yes. Would I play it again? No. Therefore, I would have to put that at B. Because I still haven't finished 2. I don't know what this game is, so I'm going to put it there. Dark Souls Remastered, I still have yet to finish this game. I started it. I didn't get it up on the channel because uh, I was just, I, I don't know. I just want to try it first and I didn't record it. But from what I tried so far, it is definitely better than Dark Souls 2. But for the sake of not hurting its score, because I don't know the actual gameplay, I'm going to put it at Never Played. I don't know what this is. Arc? Oss? What? Oh, Hollow Knight. That's, is that the same thing as Silk Song? 
So, so is that the DLC? I haven't played the DLC, so let's put that at never played. Hollow Knight is an A though. Portal, never played that. Never played that. Demon Souls, no, oh, I want to play that. Never played it though. Ooh, Jedi Survivor, S tier. And I'm not being biased. Wukong. Wait, that's just a trailer though. It's not even out. Never played. Okay, so Code Vein was good, right? But the thing about Code Vein, it was just too. That's what I'm looking for. Too static. A lot of the characters were stiff. The movement was stiff. The level scaling was confusing. But it was cool having friends to help you. But it wasn't my favorite. So I'm going to put that C. <clears throat> Actually, no, no, no. Take that back. A B. Because it's, it's better than Hellpoint. Dark Souls 3. Easy S tier. I don't know what this is. I feel like I know what it is, but I don't know what it is. Song and Sanctuary. I never played that. I don't know what this is. Surge, I played it. Didn't really like it. Put it at D. Ashen, never played it. Bloodborne, S. Surge 2. I never played that. Thymesia, I tried the demo. It was cool, but it was just... It was too... I don't know. It, it wasn't... It didn't push those souls like buttons, if you get what I'm saying. It's just like the com <laughs> excuse me. It was cool. The combat is cool. They tried to be unique with the the location and I guess the plot of the story, but it really felt like I was playing a spin-off of Bloodborne and they just did a bad job with it. But it wasn't the best. And I don't know what Nitro Souls is, whatever this is. So I'll put that never played. And uh there you have it, Stealthy. There's my Souls-like tier list for the games that I've played. This is my Souls-like Souls -like tier list. Boom. There is uh, one more tier list I wanted to do. Ooh, you know what? I'm going to save this tier list for another day. Both of those. And as you can see, I have a bias towards two. I really hate DS2. Every boss deserves a, a F-. That game deserves an F-. 